I ain't never been to a, a Diddy party. I ain't never really wanted to go, but I don't go to a lot of people parties. You think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him? I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted? Yeah. I, I believe, <clears throat> you know, somebody, you know, has the power to pull the trigger to make this domino effect happen. All right. So you th you think he's being targeted? You know, I don't. I don't know enough to even be able to to uh, be specific on any of this stuff. It's just all speculation. I just know he was cool up until a point, and then this, this stuff started happening. So I, I believe somebody, you know, like I said, uh, said, yo, he's our new guy we own t this year or whatever. At this point of being in this business this long, Hall of Fame, Walk of Fame, you name it, you got all of them, right? Who has the most power in the entertainment industry? Um, wow. I mean, it's, it's really hard to say who has the most power. Um, it's some very powerful entities out here, you know. I don't, maybe BlackRock has the most power in Hollywood. Who knows? You'd say BlackRock. I wouldn't disagree with you there on BlackRock. Vanguard. State Street, those guys. Maybe they have the most power in the entertainment. And you think more than like a Lucian Grange? Yeah. Yeah, he's just, you know, he could be fired. He could be fired. Yeah. Lior, even these guys. These guys could be fired. Yes. Okay, got it. So you're, you're going straight to the top. Who has the most power? So you think you think there's so much power that if they wanted to not have a guy like you be heard, they would do their best to not have a guy like you be heard? Um. Yeah. Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the same people. Literally the same people who own the labels own private prisons. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry. But they didn't make you write those lyrics. It's not about making somebody write the lyrics. It's about being there as guardrails to make sure certain songs make it through and certain songs don't. You know, some records are made by committee, you, meaning record company guys sit around and tell the artists, this is hot, say that, do this. We're gonna have this guy write the lyrics. We're gonna have that. You have, you know, the record company pushing the narrative, you know, and somewhat, uh, you know, some social engineering going on here to make sure those prisons stay full. How much truth is there behind that? I think it's a lot of truth. If you really remember, I was talking about the Black Rocks of the world yeah, and Vanguards yeah, of the yeah. world. Look how much they are invested in all these big labels and the, the prison industry. And, <clears throat> you know, not saying that the CIA is sitting there writing rhymes, but they may have a, a deal with, with the labels or and to allow certain records to get through. I mean, it's up to the label who who they blow up, the whole industry. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I've seen records made by a committee when it's not the artist's own uh, thought process. But that's happens, that happens with a lot of records. You know, a lot of records are, you got producers, you got A&R people, you got people who sit there and say, okay, this 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 sound like a, it's a hit. This sound like it's uh it's gonna be great. Uh and so um it's not hard to to imagine uh a record label, you know, finding a, a kid that's talking the hardest and blowing him up to the top because they know, you know, some kids may be out there gonna listen and and, you know, like you said, be influenced to do something because mm -hmm. they this is their favorite rapper. So, um, you know, you don't see a lot of happy rappers at the top of the game, do you? No. You know any of these names, any of these people that the the CIA fed them or somebody wrote the script um, for them or no? no I'm not I looking mean, for names. I don't, I'm I don't wondering know, if I don't you... know names. You know, it's just companies who, you know, they're not, they not going to let you put the record out unless they have a say in the production of the music. 
I got you. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like you write a book and they say, hey, you can't be critical of this guy. Take this out. This man is elected. We're not standing by no more getting killed. We're not scared of anybody like Trump. Yeah. Or, hey, we got to talk to the lawyers about this line. We don't want to get sued by those guys like that. Remember that Sean Puff Daddy Combs was saying that men like Trump need to be banished in 2020. Isn't that interesting? Men like Trump need to be banished. It's all making sense. You're not saying yeah. necessarily and to in- try to get internally to destroy a community like the African-American community. Well, You're- you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not either. <laughs> you know, I don't know what their plan is. I, I just know um, that the same people who own the labels own the prisons. And I believe... And it's, it's a lot of evidence out there that they make sure that the records that are put out will more than likely uh, have a negative effect on the community and create, a, you know, a, a prison industry or a prison uh, uh, community where, you know, you, you know, you got our, the, the men and women in the community going to jail often. Um, so. It happens. It's real. It's reality.